So we are being asked to find the product, and we have a fraction being multiplied to a non-fraction. If we have a fraction involved in the problem, remember that you actually need to make all the other numbers fractions by putting ones underneath them. So we have a fraction multiplied to a fraction, and these are the list of steps that we came up with in previous videos when we multiply fraction to fraction, and we're going to keep with those steps. So the very first thing is that we need to factor everything. So the numerator of this first, x plus 2, cannot be factored. There is no GCF, so he is just x plus 2. The denominator, this is a difference of cubes, because I can see I can take the cube root of this and the cube root of that. So the difference of cubes, I'm going to take the cube root of the front, and I'm going to take the cube root of the back. So the cube root of the front of the x to the third is actually x. The cube root of the back, the 27, is actually a 3. So if you remember, if it's a difference of cubes, you're supposed to have x minus 3. And now the x squared plus, multiply them together, plus him squared, which is 9. So if you need a reminder, if you have a to the third minus b to the third, if you have a difference of cubes and you are going to factor them, your answer is going to be a minus b, a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This is the rule. This is what we just did. So I took the cube root of each, and then it said to do a minus the b, and then a squared plus the a times the b plus the b squared. So this is the general rule that you learned a few months ago. And then this is our factored denominator. So I have x minus 3. And then I have x to the second plus 3x plus 9. Now I need to factor the numerator up here. If you look at it, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 9, but add to give me 3. This is not factorable. You couldn't find it. So that meant that we are going to leave it in its parentheses. And this is just 1. So the only thing that factored was our denominator. So now we have to multiply straight across. So I have the x plus 2 with this long trinomial. So x squared plus 3x plus 9. Our denominator is x minus 3. x squared plus 3x plus 9 multiplied to a 1. So I multiply straight across. Now I need to simplify. If you have an entire parenthesis that's the same on the top and the bottom, they will 1 out. So this entire parenthesis is the same as that entire parenthesis. So these two make a giant one. They one out, which meant they cancel each other out. So on top, I'm left with x plus 2 in the numerator. Bottom, denominator has x minus 3. That is our final simplified answer. But remember, we need to find the undefineds. So our original denominators can never equal 0. So here's my denominator. I'm testing to see when it's 0. Add 27 to both sides. I've got the x to the third being 27. If I want to get x by itself, I'm supposed to take the third root of both sides. So I'm going to take the third root of both sides. The third root of 27 is 3. So that meant that this could never have x to be 3. So this is my final answer, and I'm done. So our next problem, again, we have a fraction being multiplied to a non-fraction. If there's a fraction involved, you need to make him a fraction. So I'm going to put it over 1 so he actually is a fraction. So fraction multiplied by fraction. Our first step says to factor everything. So factoring x plus 5, it's not factorable. There is no GCF. So it's just x plus 5. x to the third minus 1. This is a difference of cubes again because I could take the cube root of the front and I could take the cube root of the back. The cube root of x to the third was x. The cube root of 1 is 1. So it's a difference of cubes. So when I factor this, I'm going to have this minus this. Him squared plus the two of them multiplied together plus him squared. This is how you factor a difference of cubes. So down here I have x minus 1. And then I have x squared plus x plus 1. Now I need to factor this numerator. I'm looking for something that multiplies to give me 1, but when I add them, I get 1. I can't think of anything that would multiply to give me 1, but adds to give me 1. So he's not factorable, so we're going to leave him. And then 1 is just 1. So we're done factoring everything. Now we're going to multiply straight across. 
So I've got the x plus 5 being multiplied to the x squared plus x plus 1. Now I've got this denominator being multiplied to the 1. If I am able to see, so I'm simplifying, if I'm able to see an entire parenthesis on the top and the bottom that's the same, they 1 out. I see this entire parenthesis the same as this entire parenthesis, so these two 1 each other out. So I have x plus 5 being all over x minus 1. So this is my simplified answer to this, but remember, we now need to look for undefined. So both denominators can never equal 0, so we've got to figure out when that would actually happen. So we're going to solve for x, and I need to get the third exponent to go away, so you need to take the third root of both sides. So x is going to be 1. So I can never have x equal 1 if I want this to always have an answer. So our next problem, again, we're being asked to find the product. I have a fraction being multiplied to a non-fraction. If a fraction is involved, I need to make it a fraction by putting it over 1. So fraction multiplied to fraction. First thing that we need to do is we need to actually factor everything. This numerator is not factorable because there is no GCF, so it's just x minus 7. This factor is factorable. This is not a difference anymore. This is actually a sum of cubes. So it's the same idea. If I take the cube root of the front, and if I take the cube root of the back, the cube root of x to the third is x, the cube root of 8 is 2. Because it's a sum of cubes, factoring this is this plus this, so x plus 2. It's this squared minus this times this, 2x, plus him squared, which is a 4. So if you have a sum, an adding of cubes, this is the general rule that you need to use. So we're going to factor that. So it's x plus 2. This is an x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now I need to factor the top, the numerator, the top of this fraction. What two numbers multiply to give me 4, but when I add them, I get a negative 2. Nothing. This is not factorable. So we're going to leave it as x squared minus 2x plus 4. And my denominator is a 1. So I factored everything. Now I need to multiply straight across. So I've got the x minus 7. I've got this entire parenthesis. And my denominator has this entire denominator. And it's multiplied to the 1. If I can see, because now I'm simplifying, if I see an entire parenthesis in both the top and the bottom that's the same, they 1 out. This entire parenthesis is the same as this entire parenthesis. So these 1 out and I'm left with x minus 7 all over x plus 2. Now I need to make sure what numbers in these denominators give me my zeros, my undefines. So I'm going to solve for x. x to the third equals a negative 8. I need to take the cube root of both sides to get the x by itself. So x is the cube root of negative 8 is a negative 2. So this is the simplified fraction, but my x can never equal a negative 2. And that's it.